you're the head of a group of law enforcement officers who want to stop the war on drugs. What is the reality of that war? The reality of that war is very, very dangerous communities. And it's a nightmare for law enforcement. We have thousands of murders across this country every single year. We talk about the numbers of murders that we have in Mexico, but no one's really talking about the murders that we have here in our country. Uh, back in 2009, uh, journalists and I estimated that number on the low end to be over 6,500 murders that are the result of drug prohibition policies in our own country, right in our own backyard. So let's reduce the violence that we have in our communities. Stop filling up our jails. Our jails are not institutions of higher learning. These folks go to prison, they come back out into the community, can't get jobs, but the drug trade will hire them back into a violent cycle again. So David Evans, I mean, you know, the, the, that's all undeniably true, and yet you would wish to continue to criminalize marijuana, why? Well, Pierce, first of all, it's not undeniably true. There's a lot of false statements uh, in uh, what Leap has said. Uh, legalizing drugs uh, is a very naive approach. It's simplistic, and it just simply isn't going to work. If we look at the experience in other countries, I say it's naive because what's going to happen if you legalize drugs, and especially if you legalize marijuana, that all the commercial interests are going to come into play. It's not just about legalizing it so you can have a joint at home in the privacy of your home. It's going to become a big industry, and they're going to focus on our young people just like alcohol and tobacco focuses on young people because they know if they can get them hooked, they're going to have customers the rest of their lives. Yeah, but it you see, absolutely okay, let me jump in. Wait a let me it's jump absolutely in. untrue. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah. You wait a minute. <laughs> let me just jump in. Okay. My, my response to that would be, well, yeah, but the, 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 the point of the debate is, is it any more harmful, marijuana, than tobacco or alcohol? And most of the scientific evidence suggests that it's no more harmful, in which case you may not like the fact that people can buy and smoke cigarettes or buy and drink alcohol, but it's perfectly legal. It's now perfectly legal to do the same with cannabis in at least two states, and many more are following. If it's no more harmful, that is the only reason uh, to, that I can see that you would uh, have this whole debate in the first place. If it's no more harmful, why not legalize it? Pierce, you're very poorly informed on the dangers of marijuana. Marijuana combines the worst aspects of tobacco and the worst aspects of alcohol. Uh, it is mind-altering. It is addictive. We now see kids coming into college with higher rates of marijuana dependence than alcohol dependence. Uh, the public per problem is the public perception of marijuana is not caught up with the recent science. If people looked at the recent science, they would see marijuana is, has more carcinogenic properties than does tobacco. In fact, the state of California uh, Department of Environmental Protection has declared marijuana smoke to be a carcinogen. Um, it is involved in drug driving. You talk about deaths from the cartels. Well, in California now, drug driving is surpassing drunk driving, so we're going to have more deaths on the highways. Most of those people are going to be young people that are going to be dying. 